Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you create a new blank report, you are given five report sections to use by default. The report header, the page header, the details section, the report footer, and the page footer. Using the section expert allows us to create and delete additional sections within the framework of the five basic sections. For example, you could have a page footer A and a page footer B. Having multiple sections within a report allows you to accomplish very sophisticated report layouts. For example, this can be used to display alternating background colors for each row in a report. You could also use this to show or hide lines when fields are empty or display text messages based on specified conditions. There are several ways in which you can use multiple report sections to create intricate report designs. Some of the section attributes which we examined in the section expert, such as the underlay option, are often used in conjunction with multiple report sections. To manipulate report sections, first invoke the section expert dialog box. Note that there are buttons shown above the sections list at the left side of the dialog box. We use these buttons to add, position, and remove the various report sections. You can select a report section from the listing at the left side of the dialog box and then click the insert button to insert an additional section of the same type beneath the selected listing. This will typically then show the two sections, listing the original as section A and the one you just created as section B. You can continue to click the insert button to add additional sections which will simply consecutively increase the lettering for each section that you add, such as C, D, and so on and so forth. You can click on a section which you've added and then click the delete button in the section expert dialog box to remove the selected section from the report. You can also merge the contents of two adjacent sections within the same section type. To do this, highlight the upper section of the two sections which you wish to merge into a single section, and then click the Merge button to merge the selected section with the section immediately below it. You can also click the up and down arrows to move the selected report section up or down through the list of sections available to reposition, reposition the section in the desired order. And when you're finished, you can just click OK in the Section Expert dialog box to return to the report. So for example, let's say we wanted to create a conditional message to display for employees who had sold more than $675,000 in their employment history. We can select the group footer A and let's choose to underlay that with the following sections. Click on B and here we want to create a conditional suppression. So next to suppress, click the X2 button. Here, let's create an if-then-else statement. So if, and then the field to evaluate, which is the sum of amount sold, if that is less than or equal to 675,000, then we want this to be true. It should be suppressed. And we just type the word true else false, meaning don't suppress it. And we check our syntax, click Save and Close, and then we can click the OK button. Then in the group footer, we just need to input the conditional expression, which we would like to display. Now when we preview the report, people who made over 675000 should say great job to the right. People who didn't, shouldn't. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.